Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're here for the first time. I recently completed my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 with my husband and two friends and my husband spent his playthrough playing as Kalach, one of the so-called origin characters which you can select if you don't want to make your own character. Kalach used to be a soldier and champion of an arch devil, but you find out that she's been forced into serving the devil. She managed to escape hell on her own, but she's still being hunted and she is also running out of time. She is a very interesting and charming character, which is why I wanted to paint her. Kalach belongs to a species called tieflings, who have two horns on their heads, but one of hers broke off. My reference image here came from a playthrough on YouTube, which is very humorous and a lot of fun if you know the game. And she looks quite angry in the screenshot. And I also wanted to paint her when she's angry, because then she has these little fire effects around her which I think look very cool. For my paints, I chose my Schminke Horadam Naturals again. These have a very earthy appearance and I thought they would suit her well. If you are interested in these paints, I have a full review, including a speed painting of Luke Skywalker on my channel as well. You will also be able to see the unique properties of this paint later on when I'm painting the background, because these paints are a bit more gel-like in consistency. And same as my recent Luke Skywalker painting, I used Saunders Waterford cold pressed paper. Now the downside to working with these paints is that I'm somewhat limited in which colors I can mix. So I'm afraid I didn't quite get the fire effect right. And there are also a couple of strands of hair which look very purple in my reference image, which I couldn't mix with these paints. In hindsight, I think I should have also gone over her entire face and skin with another layer of red because she ended up looking a little bit too pale. Luckily, none of my friends have had any issues recognizing her, so I hope it's within a tolerable limit. But do let me know in the comments if you think she's way too pale, then I might gather my courage and attempt to paint her skin a bit darker later. You might notice when you're watching this that one of her eyes is a bit off, the one on her right side from our point of view or her left side from her point of view. This is because in my reference image her head is tilted a bit to the side and I drew her eye like that but I decided to draw the rest of her face more straight. So I have a bit of a misalignment here between her eyes and I went back later when I was done and tried to fix this a little bit. But I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. This took me around five hours in total just to paint her face. The drawing itself took probably another one or two hours. My favorite parts are her horns and the bells that make up the clothes over her shoulder. This was also a great opportunity to practice painting hair. There isn't much more to say, so I will just put on some music for you. Thank you for your time and for watching. See you next time. Bye.